All right, let's take a look at using the editor and bringing in graphics and setting up hyperlinks on the web page. First thing we'll do is we'll log in as a user. So go to the domain name and type in user. And then put in your username and password. And I'm going to use leases again. Now when we look at the page, let's say that we have another picture of uh, Reverend Peter Morales. So we're going to add that into this entry. So this is June 27th. So we'll go up here to content, list, try that again, content list. And we can see here's our June 27th entry. So we'll edit it. And here's our editor. The first thing you want to do is set your cursor to where you want your image to be and then click on the image icon. Now earlier I downloaded a picture of Reverend Morales and put it on my desktop. When you work with images, we're working with two different parts. The first part is to move the image from your computer up into the web server. Then the second part, which is what this screen does, is it arranges that image with the text. So the first thing we have to do is go out and we have to browse a server so we can get the image on your computer up to the server. This opens up a separate window. Let me resize this a little bit so it fits. And you can see these are some of the pictures that I've brought in. I've set it up with some folders just to keep things organized. So I have uh, portraits here and regular graphics, documents. The documents are our uh, newsletters. All these are just to kind of keep things a little more organized. So we know this is a portrait, so we're going to select the portrait folder and then we're going to click on Upload. And then we can browse out to our file. Also, it's very important to keep your images as small as possible. The images we're using on the events are uh, 90 pixels wide but I'll get to that in a minute. So we'll browse out to our server. This happens to be in my desktop and I, it, I have it named Peter Morales. I'm going to have to resize this so you can see it. Once I click on open and then this is the name of the file on my desktop and I'm going to upload it to the server. And there's his picture and you can see that it's it's highlighted in yellow. Now notice that I have another Peter Morales already loaded and so this one gave it a, a new file name with zero. But once it's highlighted then I can go up here and send to the CK editor or the editor on our web page. So again, before I leave this window, the first thing we do is upload. Then we browse to go out to our computer to pull in the file. Then we click upload. That puts us in our file list. And then we can send the one we selected to the editor. And here you can see Peter's picture. It's very important to put alternate text for the search engines such as Google as well as for people that are blind that are listening to the web page and we'll so we'll say portrait of Reverend Peter Morales and we want to make the pictures as small as possible so I'm gonna make it 90 I'm gonna put some space around it by setting my vertical space my horizontal space and then I want it to be to the left of the text, so I'm going to set my alignment to left. So here you can see my 
H space and my V space. I don't worry about a border. And by doing it to the left, you can see that the text wraps around. If I did it to the right, you would see it would be the other way. Let's do it to the right. You can see the how it looks on the web page. So here you can see there is a picture we aligned to the left. And here's a picture we aligned to the right. We can go down here and we can say save. And if we look at our home page, you can see how the picture fit in. Now let's take a look and see how to do hyperlinks. The first thing I want to do is, is well, I'll, I'll open up the page. Notice the, the page we just edited went to the top. So I'll edit that. It's always a nice thing. You don't have to go looking for it too deep. And let's say I want to have a link here of the UU Association. So I'm going to make a new tab. And I'm going to do a Google search for the UUA. Oh, here's a General Assembly. That's pretty interesting. We'll catch that. So here's the General Assembly. And I'm going to grab this URL. So I highlighted it from the address bar. And I could right mouse click and do a copy, or I do a Control C. Now I'll go back to where I was editing. And I'll say visit the UU Association General Assembly page. I'll highlight what I want to have hyperlink, and then I'll go up here to the link icon. And remember, I had already copied the address from up here from the website that I had gone out to. So that's in my clipboard. Now all I have to do is paste it. Now we don't want to lose the, our user, so we're going to set the target and we're going to set it for a, a new window. That way a new tab, a new window will be made, built, and the user can still come back to our web page. We'll say OK. And now you can see this is highlighted and this is a link. If I go down and save, and I go on and look at my web page, and you can see here's the link. Now if I mouse over it, and don't click, but I mouse over it, and I look in the very far corner down here, you can see where that link's going to go to, and that's that hyperlink that I put in there. So you saw how to add a picture to the web server, how to add it in the event or any listing. You can do the same thing in uh, blog entries and how to make a hyperlink. And if you need to edit those and remove those or change them in any way, just go into content list, edit it. Now if I highlight this, if I want to drop that link, I can unlink it. I think I'll leave it in there. That's a nice thing to have. Remember that almost all our portraits are 90 pixels wide. It's a good thing to remember. And also you want to keep your images as small as possible. That one that we uploaded was pretty big. That was like 400 pixels. You want to keep those uh, that size or even smaller. And that's how you use the editing window for graphics and hyperlinks.